Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a dice cube in the new version of Blender using some basic Blender modeling techniques. Um, we're going to start with the um, default cube that they give you in Blender, so, um, which is appropriate for a dice of course. The first thing we need to do is to hit tab to go into the edit mode and we're going to need more than just the one face per side to use to uh, manipulate the mesh for the pips showing the numbers on each side of the dice. So we're going to go to this menu and hit subdivide and then in this subdivide menu we're going to tell it to do four cuts which is going to give us an appropriate amount of faces to use for the pips in each side of the dice face. So um, what we're going to do next is hit A to deselect everything and then go on each side and select the appropriate amount of faces for each number. Um, but before that, you need to go down here and enter the face select mode. That way you'll only be hitting the faces. Now on a standard dice, each side that's opposite from the other side has to equal 7, so we're going to try to stay true to the original dice here. So this side will be 4, and the side opposite will be 3. and make sure you remember to hold shift down while selecting multiple faces so you don't deselect the ones you already did. Um, so that's four and this will be three. For this side we're going to do what will be six and then one on the opposite side. Now for some reason uh, when you select faces that are connected to other faces a strange malformation happens so we're going to do that in a separate step. Okay, so the last two faces are then going to need to be 2 and 5. Okay, now that you have your pips selected, we are going to need to extrude them. And that just basically separates them from the rest of the mesh. So we're going to hit E on the keyboard and then just click your left mouse button to confirm that they are extruded. Um, and now what we need to do is change the transformation center from the active element to individual origins in this menu, the pivot point. This is going to make the uh, pips move on their own accord as opposed to with the mesh. So we just need to again change this pivot point to individual origins. And now what we are going to do is to scale the faces so that they're a little smaller and further apart. So what you're going to do is hit S and then on your number pad hit point eight, and that should give you a pretty good distance. And then just hit left mouse button to confirm. Um, and now hit A to deselect everything and then go back to your faces that will have the uh, connecting faces to select those for you. So that will be the 5 here, and then the 6 here, and then the 3 here. Okay, that should be all of them. Now same deal, hit E to extrude, left mouse button, and then we hit, to scale it, we hit S, and then point 0.8, left mouse button. Now we should have all of our correct faces, with a little bit, with the small extra faces around them. This is going to give us more room for the 6 and 3, for example. Okay, now the next step is going to be to create divots in the cube, and that is going to entail selecting your faces that you have scaled down and to extrude them back into the cube a little bit. So you're just going to have to do this by site. So again, select 
each um, each face, hit E, and then just slide it back an appropriate distance. A to deselect, and then we'll do the same for this face. Select all faces, hit E, and then move them back. A to deselect. Now to threes. E to extrude, then pull it back with your mouse button just a little bit. A to deselect, and on to the one face. Select E and move it back. Okay, looks like we're done. Now we just need to do the top and the bottom. So here's the two. E, move it down. A to deselect. And finally the five. Then E to extrude and move it down. Okay, and there you have it. If we hit the F12 button, we can see what we have. Doesn't look like a dice yet, but we're getting there. So F11 to hide that. Now what we are going to do is to make the divots and the body a different color before we do um, the rounding out so it doesn't get complicated. So what we're going to do first is select all of the bottoms of your faces. Let's just try to do this quickly and we're going to basically assign different colored materials to the pips as to the body of the dice so that they're different colors and you can see which number you rolled. Now we want the bottoms of the pips as well as the sides so a little trick to doing this is to go down here to the select menu, hit more right here or the control number pad plus sign and it will select the bottom face as well as these surrounding faces which will give us the whole deal that we're after. Now just uh, a quick check to make sure it worked on all sides. Looking good. Okay and now what we're going to do is go here into the materials panel and we're going to assign a specific material to these guys. So this uh, default material is just the default material that Blender gives its objects by default. We're just going to uh, switch to the edit mode with tab and then get rid of that. Okay. Now back to the edit mode and we're going to add a new material this material.001 we're going to hit assign this button and that's going to basically assign this material to these pips. Now we are going to go into the select menu and hit inverse. That's going to give us the body. Then over here to a new material and this new material we are going to assign to the body. Now, um, in this panel, we're basically going to do something that's going to separate these two materials because right now they're linked together. So we're going to hit this two, and it's going to turn it to an F, and then you can assign different names to the different bodies. Now deselect everything just to make sure. Okay, so this is the body. So we're going to name this body. And this is going to be the pips. We're just going to name it pips. Okay, now all we have to do is go into this bar right here and change the color. And you see as we change the color, the pips will change color as well. So we're just going to change these to a black, maybe like a light gray color. And then we'll move to the body change the body to a uh, lightish yellow of some sort. Okay, now what we need to do is to make this dice look like a dice. So 
in this panel, well first let's go to the uh, object mode, we'll do a quick render and see what we got here. Alright, colors looking good. F11 will hide that menu and then we will go have the cube selected and go into this menu which is the modifiers menu. We're going to add a modifier called the subdivision surface modifier. So just click on that. And this is basically going to round our edges out. Now you're going to want about a 3 in render and then it doesn't matter what you have in view because that's just what you see right here. So have a 3 in render. One more thing to make it nice and smooth, we're going to go over here to the object tools and hit smooth shading. Now let's see what happens when we hit F12. I think that looks like a dice. Okay, I hope you guys could follow that pretty easily and uh, with these instructions you should be able to make a little dice like this for any scene that you might be trying to create. Thank you for listening.